Hello friends, welcome back to our TS Info YouTube channel. This is Ganesh Yadav. In this video, we are going to discuss Power Apps first, first and last, last and functions with different examples. First of all, let me explain what are these functions under respective syntaxes. Power Apps first function returns the first item of a data source or table. The first function returns a single record or an item. Here you can see the syntax of the first function is first table. Here table is required. You need to specify the table name. And first end function is helps to return the first set of records of table. The second argument defines the number of records to be returned. Here you can see syntax of the first end function is first end table number of records. In the same way, the power apps last function returns the last item or record of a data source or table. Here you can see syntax of the last function is last table. And finally, the power apps last end function returns the last set of records of a table, whereas the second argument defines the number of records that are to be returned. And the syntax of the last end function is last end table number of records. Next, I will show you practically how to use these Power Apps functions with different examples. Here you can see this is my SharePoint online list like employee onboarding. Inside this, I have added different columns including the lookup column like department. Now, I would like to display these records on a data table based on the first, first and last, last and functions. For that, go to the Power Apps. Here you can see this is my Power Apps edit page. And whenever you want to add a SharePoint online list to the Power Apps, just go to the data section. Here select the add data, then select SharePoint. Then choose your SharePoint online site. Then choose your respective list like employee onboarding. Then click on the connect button. Now go to the default screen. Next add a data table control. Make it alignment as your need. Now set its items property like here you can see the data table displays the first record of the SharePoint online list like this. And similarly, if you want to get the first four records from the SharePoint online list, apply the formula like And here you can see 4 is number of records you want to display in the data table. In the same way if you want to get the last record of the SharePoint online list, just use this formula like. You can see here this is my last record of the SharePoint online list. And similarly, if you want to get the last two records of a SharePoint online list, in this case, you can use last end function like Yes, you can see this is how we can get last two records of the SharePoint online list. Similarly, you can also implement these formulas to the Power Apps collection as well. Yes, friends, this is all about how to use Power Apps first, first and last, last and functions. I hope guys you like this video to give a like and do subscribe our YouTube channel for more free videos on SharePoint online, Power Apps, Power Automate and Power BI. Thank you.